Hello everyone, this is Nikitonsky and today we are back with programming closure. We will be going to take a look at uh, Grampy website and at its config subsystem. Uh, right now it's in a kind of strange place, it's uh, ad hoc and uh, basically just a bunch of uh, plain text files like this uh, on the left and each file contains one single string which then we read using closure slurp and that's that's how you get the values from the config we also have a system for populating those with default values and it's sometimes used sometimes it isn't and um, yeah it's also a macro so uh, we are going to clean this up a little bit right and make it uh, so that it works uniformly across the system so just basically some um, clean up and housekeeping. Okay, so I've created a namespace called config here. And first thing that I think we need to do is to define default config, right? So let's say we have default config. Um, this, of course, will be stored in a code, so you cannot override this. Well, we're in a space config, so it's probably not uh, pretty wise to put config suffix. Okay, so let's, let's see. So we have circle CI token. Okay, something in there, right? Uh, cookie secret also, I don't know. DB version. Uh, forced user hostname okay so hostname at least i know what should be in there yes so this should be https grampy website okay so let's see hostname yeah yeah grampy website yeah exactly so first user has no default value uh there's dev variable So we have nil for this. Um, I believe in Telegram we have, yeah, we have Telegram token and Telegram channel. It's actually channels. Okay, so let's go Telegram token. I know Telegram channels is a vector or a set right so this is nil as well uh, this is probably a number not a string okay this is definitely nil this is definitely nil okay cool uh, db version let's go to migrations yeah so default value is one uh, but it's subject to change okay so and then we have yeah Something like this. Okay, maybe we will find more. Uh, we will see about it later. Okay, now uh, we need two operations, right? So we need to load config and we need a way to override default values, right? Like, um, so it's not always, so it's used in cookie secret. Uh, it's used in DB version. So basically we need to write values to config, right? Okay, so that's that's what we are going to do. Um, how are we going to do this? Okay, so let's... Uh, hmm. Let's write a fun function called read and it will take... It will take nothing. It's uh, just... Uh, <laughs> just a read function okay yeah uh but uh what we, it's gonna do is it's gonna go to uh the okay require uh closure even as hidden yeah we we'll probably need also closure string maybe 
disclosure general i'm not sure maybe we want io is io we'll probably need uh, grant the core score yeah this is uh, for the future okay so let's see so what do we need to read we need Eden read string Okay, let's call it load. Okay, um, slurp, and here goes file file name. We use hard code name config. Okay, so we suppose there is a config. file, and we can load it and return the result right. Okay, uh, but yeah, yeah, this this will load. It. Okay. Now, uh, what else do we need? Uh, what else do we need? Um, this probably should be new as well. Okay, so new means undefined. But uh, normally, I wouldn't need to specify those. It's actually just I just uh, like a single place where I can see all my options. Okay, but. Yeah, of course, the default values. You only need default values that I actually that actually have defaults. Okay. Um, yeah, let's pass from config host name host name db version. Okay, so I just just really. I hope that does Telegram. Oh, it it reads values directly. Actually, it has default values from what I'm seeing, right? So this one is gonna have a default value. Okay, but token doesn't. Okay. Grab data cookie secret uh, that we have. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Forced user we have. Cracks uh, don't need. DB version we have. Telegram token, Telegram channel we have. Circle CI token we have. And yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. cool. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is our default config. And then we have read uh, normal config. Of course, the file might not exist. So this is why we probably need. Ah, oh, this is what's going on. It said the wrong, uh, the wrong indentation. Okay, so if, right, or we can try, I don't know. But yeah, no, probably if. Okay, let file your file this when. Exists file. We probably also need to uh, annotate this and we need to import your file. Okay, so if that file exists, we try to read it. Of course, it might lead an exception in exception, but it doesn't matter really right now. Uh, the important point is we don't throw if it doesn't exist which is normal situation okay uh, okay so this function loads file okay uh, this one I don't know what it's gonna do yet we also want to uh, to store a file for example right so store Okay, and to do that, we are gonna do what? We are gonna, yeah. Um, let me let me just take a look here because I always forget. Cookie, save bytes. Aha, uh -huh. this is interesting. Okay, so oh, I don't know. Doesn't use split. Okay, uh, whatever. Read bytes. Oh my God! I'm, I'm actually. Oh, this is interesting. So, 
the rest is more or less fine but cookie secret is actually a byte array as it seems right so random bytes is just yeah, actually it's actually a byte array so i will need to serialize and deserialize it from byte array okay but it's okay it's okay it's just it's, it makes it interesting actually but anyway i was uh, hoping to find uh, um, yeah speed okay okay this is simple right so with speed uh we we say pr star uh, we need to file yeah, this is also should be file actually okay so we again we say file is file file burster config okay now i'm not sure uh, let me see what do we have independencies already maybe i want a pretty printing no yes, we don't have pretty printing but we have it in closure right so um let me go closure docs print yeah so print object right or pretty print object option right as writers not provide print object. okay cool um so what we are gonna do is say with open and uh, no, no, no if i'm going to pretty print pretty printing might not work for wide array but anyways uh let's let's see um your writer file right and then we say print print config writer okay and we need print as print okay so this should this should do it to some extent right so what we should do right now is we go to REPL uh -huh. yeah of course so this should be different this should be different and this is not going to compile anytime soon okay load we already have load yeah this is this is right actually and but we have our ways around it so load is a built-in closure function but we don't use it so it's okay okay cool so now we what we're gonna do so you might notice that I'm using Sublime text for coding and it doesn't have closure repls. Uh, otherwise, I would, of course, be evaluating forms from, from the buffer, but I have to switch to terminal, but uh, it's okay. I, I'm okay with that for now. Okay, so super. Uh, let's see. Do we have a default? Yes. Uh, can we store default? Neil. Okay, so and config hidden was created was created here and actually looks looks nice, right? So it contains what we expected to contain. Okay, cool. So uh, how do we store bytes? That's an interesting question actually. Uh, because because hmm. Uh, because uh, the thing is, when closure uh, deserialize something like read string, right here, it will it will use. You can specify data readers for it. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, right? What I'm thinking is, uh, so we have cookie secret here, and I'm thinking something like this. Right, so bytes and then some bytes 
uh, because you, you see we actually in cookie secret here we are using I don't know maybe these are row bytes no these are row bytes yeah uh, they are not translated to string in any way wow okay so um, we would need maybe this was the reason why I use separate files one of the reasons right uh, we can generate random bytes here yeah, of course we need we'll need a way to convert these bytes to string uh, and back back and forth right so uh, to string and back okay so what can we do to do that okay let's say let's say we need some bytes grant house random bytes 16 so this are our bytes okay so it's object byte array blah 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 okay uh, java string do we have a way to convert bytes we have a way to convert bytes to a string but it's not probably what we want set no no this is not what we want right yeah okay we need what we need is something like base 64 or something like that so, uh, by the way maybe java base 64 okay let me see yeah maybe we have it built in now yeah do we do we okay okay yeah we do no examples uh, hmm. let me see okay so color and we have encode okay S super encode to string well, we have encode to string cool um hmm okay so the way it works is java audio base 64 okay so it's, it would be different so it's gonna be write bytes and it accept bytes java audio base 64 then get encoder this is our encoder and on this encoder we call encode yes we call encode to string encode to string this is how we do it yes uh, i also have fig wheel running in the background and it reloads my namespaces so right now what i need to test it okay class closure core bytes can be cast uh, and name it right. okay so problem is we called our variable bytes we shouldn't have done that okay so this is our encoded string and uh, I hope we have some the similar way to decode the string, right? So we get decoder and decode from string. Yeah, we have that. Cool. Cool. Decode from string. Okay, so let's say read bytes. So the string get decoder, decode as as is string and it return bytes yes In bytes write bytes read bytes and uh, huh. why not Okay, so bytes, write bytes, 
read bytes. Yeah, and we get this. We can actually. Sorry. Let's see if we can. Yeah, this is a byte that we read back. Okay, cool. So this will help us somehow. Yes. Um, let me just create a small comment section in here. And there I actually need this. I am not going to call them bytes because it conflicts with closure naming, closure function bytes. Okay, so we have B called like this. Okay, B is, uh, by the way, bytes. Yeah. Uh, encoding and decoding uh, returns. What we expect. Okay, now um, here I know what we can do, right? So we go to Koja read string. It's here, and there are opts. Opts like in read. And we have readers, a map of text in to do to the function. Yeah. So basically here we need readers and bytes. Read bytes. Okay. So this is our this is our reader right so if we put something like let me see something like this in our config even let's say we want cookie secret and we store it like this it should read it right Lot. Yeah, let's call lot. And yeah, and the cookie secret is our um, better read. Cool. This is this is what we wanted, right? Now we need to figure out a way to write. Okay, so let's go to print. Actually, probably it would be easier if I open closure sources directly and look up for solution there okay so first of all we have eden but if i remember eden doesn't have writing it's only have has reading yes correct you print okay let's see we can write no no wait what uh -huh. simple list, print list. Okay, maybe we can somehow extend something in here. Simple dispatch like this. But uh, it need Java class and Java class. Okay, let's start with just experimenting, right? So we know So preprinting in this case prints just an array. Yeah, that's not what we wanted, of course. And yeah, and we have byte array is it's it's on data type and 
yeah we have a type for byte but we don't have type for byte array but anyway uh we we have what do we have we have class for name yeah yeah cool and cool so this is our type and what if we what if we simple dispatch okay let's see simple request i'm actually not sure so yeah maybe Is already class object print object. Okay. Yeah, we probably need to. It's method. Okay, let's let's just see. Let's see if it works. Maybe it just will just work. Okay, so we need this. I have two closures open. Yeah, um, the problem is this is private, but this is okay, probably. No, simple dispatch is not, is, is not private. Yeah, so this is cool. So now we need class, right? And then our function. And the function must be print list and simple list. And we have to use this. this this thing, yeah, <laughs> anyways, uh, print to default printer. Okay, cool. Um, yes, S preprint, simple dispatch. Here we go, class for name. This strange name is a class name for byte array, All right? And here, for print bytes. Okay, so we need another function, actually. We need print bytes, bytes, bytes. Okay, so what we need is we need to write to a writer the word bytes, uh, then uh, quotation mark. Then we are going to write, write, get writer out. Okay. Then we encode the string, encode our bytes, and then we print the okay. This one we don't need. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Denf, yeah, Denf is something strange. Use method. What? Uh, what we probably need is how do you def method? Yeah, def method. Multi fan dispatch while and then a fan, yes. So it's it's um we just need this. 
probably inside closure this is not yet defined call to closure core if n did not confirm to spec uh, yes because we need fn tail yes cool let's see boom seems okay seems okay okay let's see if we now load closure p print print uh, yeah seems okay uh the only well the the trick is we can use pprint we cannot use prstr but but we actually can maybe we should uh, redefine this too okay so let's go uh, there is something like print method or something like that and yeah print method induction c writer okay let's see what do we get this okay. uh, i think this should accept Yes. Okay, my right on this one. Does itself here. We use out. Okay, so print method the same for class. So bytes. Writer Let's see Does it work? Boom! Cool! Okay, so yeah We now can print both pretty print or not pretty print Actually uh, I would figure that you only have to redefine one and the other one will reuse it but it seems not to be the case but anyways cool right so this machinery is like write print read okay we probably can hide these ones okay so load default probably we don't need to inspect this um, load and store maybe i'm not sure yet but okay so let's let's get to the to the meat of it okay so what we need to do is we need a way to get some value and we need to way to write value okay and we probably don't want to reload config on every access, right? So what we wanna do is we gonna uh, load the file and store it in agent. Well, normally it would be an atom, okay? The difference between atom and agent is that atom when you apply an update to an atom it is concurrent so if you apply uh, an update from multiple threads all of them are executed concurrently and the first that wins wins and the, the others other updates are retried right so update function is called multiple times might be called with agent every update uh, stays in a queue 
And this is a way to serialize writes. Basically, what I am concerned about is if multiple parts of a system would try to write a default value. So the only way, the only place where we need to write to the config is uh, when we need to write a default value. Okay. But if that happens, um, I want it to be safe. And to do that, we need to serialize it. And to serialize it, we need uh, some 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 way to do that. And uh, the way to do that in Clojure is agent. And the good part is that agents are also they basically work like atoms, right? So okay. So uh, let me just define def what we need is something like config config yeah and now i need to go and see how agent works because it it's been a while and yeah meta validator error handle yeah i have no idea but we probably don't need much uh, so default value would be merge our default with what we want, right? So uh, when the program starts, it is going to load the config from, from here. It is going to merge it with default. And then it is gonna write it down. Okay. And this is so basically to access the config, you just go in and and access it. Maybe I should write something. get key okay mm -hmm. so get key is very oops sorry get key is very simple we basically return closure core get We need to dereference config. You can dereference at any time. It's exactly as with Atom, right? And K. Okay. So this is how you read a value from config. Yeah, um, but I'm I, I have uh, I'm thinking how do I implement something like that? But uh, we figured it out as we go. Okay, and the second one is that sometimes we need to populate config, right? Set k and v. And in this case, this is where we are going to utilize the agent, right? So to work with agent, you need to send. Yeah, you need to send to it. So we are going to send to config. And what we're going to send is actually a function that accepts what it accepts is does not concern us actually. Because we are going to load the file again. So the idea is the this config is something uh, already merged, right? So it contains default values and our values mixed together. Um, when writing a config uh, in here i don't want to store default values second time right 
so uh, if for example if db version is one and i do not specify it here i do not want it to go back in there okay so that's why we need to check what is actually on a disk um maybe it's new normally it would be new right so then we well actually you know what let me just make it so that store function returns con new config okay so okay uh, value um, So it's three steps. We load the config, we change what they asked us to change, and we store it. Right? The store will return a new value, actually, and this is this is fine with us. Right? The important part here is that this sense will serialize, meaning that um, Actually, maybe it would be stupid. No, no, it's it's okay to load. So it's actually good to load because so yeah, yeah, this is this is fine. This is good that we load it every time. That would mean that if somebody goes to disk and changes it, and then system decides to set some value, uh, it will be okay. Okay. So uh, yeah. But, uh, set a side effect false, store a side effect false, so let's recognize that. We also don't want to conflict with closure get. Okay, let's see, get, uh -huh, let's go. Okay, and now we probably, what we need is Maybe get and set. I don't know. So yeah, the, I, well, the, the one I'm thinking here is here, see uh, the cookie secret, it's like read the value or write the value, right? So it's probably gonna be get, but with okay, let's, let's use normal names because We need set here and we need get here because okay or we get key, right? Let's uh, what does it send returns? Huh. Something like this, yeah, right? I, I am thinking maybe there is more like a uh, smart way to write it. I am not sure, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Okay, so we call get, our get, trying to get a key. If it doesn't exist, well, that's bad, <laughs> right? Uh, if it exists, we return the value. If it doesn't exist, we can call the function, uh, set the value, and return the value. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or we can return value from here, I guess. And then we can, in that case, we can simplify it like this. And 
so we can further further simplify it like this. Okay, yeah, this is this is why I love I love closure, right? So everything combines, stacks up, and uh, some trivial but uh, long sequence of text you can simplify into something very concise and small. Okay, uh, and this seems to be most of what we are gonna need, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's with this? Okay, let's go. Let's 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 see. So we have a new namespace. Let's see it compiles. Except by the way, it doesn't compile because it thinks that set is. Oh no, you cannot use that set. Okay. That. No, uh, so <laughs> uh, the set seems to be some special form in closure. Maybe I don't know. So we're just gonna return this set. Set uh, the first. Uh, yeah. Okay. Normally we wouldn't need to use config directly, right? So well, I don't like to hide stuff, but none of this is actually a public API. Maybe I'll leave config because uh, there's nothing bad with knowing there's some config. Okay, but the rest is private API, most of the, mostly. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's delete this. Um, now we have no config at all, right? So let's try and use it. So, okay, let's import config here and Def. Let's def cookie secret config get cookie secret or random by sixteen. Okay. So this is how it's supposed to work. And after we execute this, it should go to config, find we don't have this cookie secret, and then it should uh, execute this one and store it to the file system, create a file here, and then we should see it's defined as well. Okay, let's see. Boom. Yeah. And now, actually, let's, let's print. Yeah, cookie secret. Okay, so we have uh, we have it to define to something. Oh boy, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to actually. Okay, let's let's see if we can have. What do we have? Cookie secret DB version. All right, no, this should be. Let's. Uh, DB. I'm thinking of using actually namespaces a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't. So, for example, this is house. Right, so. Now we have uh, our cookie secret as well, but the old one is not ruined. I actually don't want it. Okay, uh, I will see about the rest. But uh, so, for example, DB version. I know DB version right now is three. Okay, so let's put it 
there. Uh, what else do we have? Forced user. I think it's also else. Okay. Uh, I believe forced user has a value. Uh, it's Nikitovsk, yeah. In at, le at least in my First user. Okay, so we have it in core, uh, but we actually use it in house. So it actually belongs to house more than to the core. And so I, uh, that means I have just correct to config get house first user. And it doesn't have default value. Okay. So it's okay if it is new. It's it's okay. Maybe should use it like this. Yeah, let's use it like this. So this will be grumpy house, grumpy house, grumpy db. Okay. Um, so they they like scope to actual namespace okay so first user let's find it and fix it right so uh, not sure Oh no, this was fine. Okay, so we we have migrated. We can kill this. We can kill. I think this we can kill. Random bytes we need, actually. Right, but it's actually private. Okay, let's go. Uh, next, GrampyDB version. DB version. DB version. Okay, so the only place we use it is migrations. But I think it should be scoped to DB anyway. Okay, so um, <laughs> config DB version. Yeah, and you see here we actually use both get and set okay so db version here yeah uh, this is no 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 okay so this is where we go all the way so this is gonna be config get ground pdb version right Default is there. We're migrating, and then we have to actually set. We didn't hide set, didn't we? Oh, yeah, cool. So, and we can call set db version and this version. Yeah, we, so you see uh, here we have to like convert to string from string but in the case of uh, alter var, var root uh, this is was like uh, too complicated this is much much cleaner uh, let's see if compiler is my data it isn't okay which db version we are at uh, three okay cool uh yeah let's go next grand pdb version Okay, uh, we need like this. 
Cool. Uh, next, next in our stop, what do we have? Circle CI token. Okay. This one we process Circle CI token. Okay. Uh, let's see. Circle CI token is actually used in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is just config get Token. and it would be grumpy video okay oh, also another thing that is that I don't like that different spelling so I'm going to replace this okay and we don't actually Hmm. I'm thinking um, that maybe me we can like throw if if it doesn't exist but is used actually. And that's kind of makes sense. Okay, let me see. So we have this get with value fun, right? Uh, really fine is calculated first. Okay, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just write uh, get required function that will just call get or throw x info. Please specify key in grumpy data config even key key. Okay, so basically we're trying to get the key and if it exists uh, we return it, but otherwise we try to create it but we, we, because uh, instead we are going to throw and uh, here we are just going to throw and this looks decent okay we are going to use get required the only difference is that oh, this is okay right I mean, I was worried that we actually should postpone it to the first use. Yeah, maybe we should. Okay. This is how it's gonna work, right? If we try to do something with it, we, we throw. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, this is, I, I like the idea of cleaning this config stuff up, up more and more, actually. Okay, uh, so we have covered house, we have covered DB version, we have covered circle CI token, right? What's next? Grumpy Telegram channels. Grumpy Telegram token, Grumpy Telegram channel. Okay, let's let's go deal with us basically we just go here and say and say config get uh, token and config get channels 
default value we already have kind of default value so it's okay uh, are those required that's a good question actually new token Uh, hmm, this is interesting. So no, this, uh, those are not required actually. And if token is nil, we uh, actually just ignore uh, most of the Telegram stuff. Well, actually, no, here we check this token, but here in post URL, here it is required. So. Uh, let's it. Let's leave it as this. Okay, so token channels, right? So telegram token, telegram channels. Cool. So we have default value. Uh, hmm, yeah, and kind of also the only thing I, I am not sure yet is uh, default values are specified here, not in the place where they are actually used. Okay, host name, uh, final uh, boss, right? So host name and dev. Okay, let's see, see where core host name is used. Okay, so house in feed and telegram. Okay. So uh, it seems that it's not namespace to anything, but because we namespace everything, we probably should namespace it as well. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna put host name in there. I am gonna find where it is used, and there are a couple of places, and basically replace config get yes get required it has default value so there is no 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 need to make it required well it is required but it yeah Let's leave it. Let's make it required. Okay. Um, hmm. Host name. Okay. Here probably we want to make it like this. here but yeah this is probably not gonna work this is commented out so we don't have to <laughs> so this sum is some temporary stuff that we don't need to support so let's just remove it and I think copy core host name, uh, core host name, core host name, core host name. Okay, so let's see if host name is used in there somewhere. No, okay, cool. And the last bit is core dev. Okay, right? So, uh huh. Well, core dev should become config dev. That's what I'm thinking. 
Uh, so basically what we, we will just define it in here. exists so core dev should become config dev actually yeah I, I so it's working with config and also some configurations that should probably go in there as well no, okay 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 uh, replace three files cool so config in there yes here we don't have config yet, so let's add it. Here we don't have config. Here we have config. Okay, cool. So this one removed, also by, also from config. So this one it's from config. Okay, not used anywhere. I can get rid of. Huh. Get post. Okay, this probably doesn't. Yeah, it's not related to config. Okay, this one, I don't know. No uh, sessions play config, going to config. Oops. Uh, okay, this seems. I was thinking about authors. Should they go to the to the config? They're not actually a config. Not really. Not really. Config. So. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's just a dump. So I was thinking about all source. Like, let's see. Feed, okay. Okay, so also by feed server telegram. Okay, yeah, let me think about it, but I think we are done with configs. The only thing left, yeah, let's check that we can, if we start from scratch, everything uh, is in order, because there is, yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, missed a couple of. Config doesn't depend on core of. It does actually. Why? Yeah, it shouldn't. Um, uh, the, the problem with REPL is that if you modify a file and add something, yeah, it, it's got reloaded. But if you modify file, modify file and remove something, it still stays in memory. It doesn't remove it and unless you're using um, closure tools reloaded. And because of that, you might not notice that you you removed something that you were referencing on because. In runtime, uh, this reference will st the value will still be alive, so you have to clean everything, unload every namespace, and load them back again. Uh, you can do that from REPL. Uh, it requires a bit of setup. I actually should 
I should start using this. I'm not sure why I'm not using it yet. And because I'm using fig wheel and fig wheel. No, actually, I'm using namespace. Yeah, I could have used refresh or reset. Config in feed. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I probably forgot that I already configured it and I should be using it, of course. What? Something is not right in here. Oh, I know what's happened. I added let, but forgot to. This should be okay. Let's start reviewing our changes. So, added config, yes, definitely. Not config dev, config dev, cookie secret, yeah, this one we saved. Right here, we just use first user. Okay, this is me, get required host name. Yeah, seems, seems okay. I'm actually not sure. Maybe get required should be, should be the default. Hmm. Let's see. So cookie secret is get with default value. It's okay. Right? First user is optional. Host name is required. The B version is probably required. Token here and channels are optional. Yeah. Required. Circle C is required. Okay. Let's do Let's do it this way. No, no, no. Huh. This is trickier. So, yeah, of course, get optional will be like this. Right, and normal get would be with key, which means it is required or with default value, which means it will perform this one. Okay, so uh, optional get optional just get it. Get with key would actually call itself with serial function. And this version would call get optional or set key value. Yeah, this is this I like. Okay, I like this. Uh, let's go. Cookie secret, yes. Here optional. Uh, get required is just get now, which is actually what we are. Okay, get required, just get, uh, this get will stay get, here we need optional, but this is okay, uh, required here is just get, and here we just get. Okay. Let's see. We have cookie secret first user optional, first name required, first name required, version required, token and channels optional, uh, host name. Required. Yeah, I actually like that uh, this more. So we default to the required value. So if you are not paying attention, somehow, but try to read something from config and it doesn't have a value, but you need that value, it's okay. And only if you know that this value could be missed, 
to the mist. It's okay to um, Seems to work. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's let's start again. So we need to con con get optional yes, get first name yes, get config yes, from config removed. This removed config dev stage stage yes uh, yes. Name yes, db version yes yeah, is simplified now. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. This is also simpler now. So the main benefit is uh, we we moved writes to single place and make them reliable, right? And the second part we because we are storing values in um, in Eden they are typed now and this is also good right the only part missing probably is migration so we probably need to write something to migrate old values into new values let me let me see what I can do okay so here. Yeah, this definitely has to go. This one, yeah, token removed. Okay, cool. And untracked files, config. Yes, of course, we want that. Uh, did I remove? Yeah, I probably did. Okay, so what do we say? So extracted all config into config. Okay, cool. I'm not committing yet because because okay let me just see if reload workspace works yeah it seems to work cool uh, I'm not com committing yet because I actually need to write a code to convert from this circus into this one yeah Okay. Or maybe I, I don't. Maybe I do this manually. I don't know. At least reading cookie secret wouldn't be, wouldn't be that simple because it's written as bytes. I, I doubt I will be able to do that in uh, with my hands. But I might. But I might. Okay, but uh, this is probably not that interesting. I'll probably just go to the production and just write this config file by hand. Um, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Yeah, as you can see, actually, host name for local development host name should be Grumpy Core. Yeah. Okay, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye bye.